8.16 right now. A scary moment last week in the NHL. St. Louis Blues player Jay Bomeister collapsed on the ice. He reportedly suffered a cardiac episode. He later underwent successful surgery to put a defibrillator in his chest, and he is now recovering at home. And joining us this morning is Dr. David Weisman. He's a cardiac electrophysiologist on staff at Palm Beach Gardens Medical Center. Doctor, good morning and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Boy, that is amazing to see a, a young guy like that. So we often think of people having a heart attack uh, at an older age and people who maybe are out of shape. But this is an athlete in superb shape playing hockey. How does something like this happen? Yeah, it certainly is uh, pretty scary. We don't think of that. Um, usually the young athletic people um, have heart problems for different reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, very often they're genetic. Um, they're obviously born with that condition that predisposes them to that cardiac event. Or they have some other structural heart problem. It's not due to a, a risk factor that they did to themselves as they lived their life. Right. So this was potentially an undiagnosed event that happened maybe at childbirth or early on some, somewhere Cor along the line? Correct. Correct. All right. Uh, okay, so what was the procedure that he had to insert a defibrillator into his chest? Right. So, so basically he had a cardiac device that was implanted below the, the collarbone, and that device uh, basically will monitor him, and should he have another one of these cardiac episodes, it would save his life and, and shock his heart out of the, that dangerous rhythm that happened at the, uh, at the game. Okay, so is this just a, little, a small little device that can just be put under? Can you feel it if, if it's in there? You, you can feel it. It's pretty small now. It used to be about the size of a deck of cards, but now it's wow. uh, about that big. Um, and uh, really, um, you know, in, in, a, in a guy of that size, probably not going to feel too much of it. Okay. So if, if he does have another episode, how does it shock it back into... Uh, the, there are wires, actually, that are down inside the heart or around the heart, and those wires will sense the abnormality and actually send electrical impulses into the heart and then correct it and restart his heart in a normal rhythm. All right, so what may be the takeaway from what happened to him and what happens to a lot of people so that you can prevent it from happening to you? Well, well certainly at any age, especially a, a young person, it's concerning if they're fainting, getting dizzy, especially during exercise. Those are all really red flags and dangerous signs and probably should be checked out by a cardiologist or someone like myself, a cardiac electrophysiologist. Okay, so is there anything you can do to prevent it from happening? Um, I, usually we don't think of young people as having these kind of serious right. medical conditions. I think really it's listening to your body, listening to the warning signs. Um, if you're older, obviously if you have risk factors for heart disease, uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, if you're a smoker, if you have high cholesterol, you have to address that with your physician. But something like this is, is a rarity. I mean, a, a normal heart attack or a, heart, a cardiac condition is something that happens maybe from, you know, bad eating, bad genes, uh, no exercise, right. overweight. Right, right. This, this is definitely a... a not something we see every day, but um, in the athlete, obviously, we've had our share of uh, celebrity athletes who right. died uh, you know, during games, and um, most of them are due to these genetic abnormalities or structural heart abnormalities that, that cause the unfortunate event. All right. Good information. I'm glad to see that this guy's all right. Yeah. All right. Lucky. All right. Holland, back.